Have you ever watched a flock of birds flying south for the winter? How do they know it's time to go? Some bird species and many other animals are migratory. They travel from one habitat to another according to the cycle of the seasons. It's an adaptive response to changing conditions. All around the world, animals are on the move. North Pacific humpback whales make one of the longest trips. From Alaska to Hawaii to mate and give birth, about 5,000 kilometers each way. Monarch butterflies go almost as far, but the trip exceeds their lifespan, so they stop along the way to give birth. It's an intergenerational relay race. Animals use many physical cues, light, smell, temperature, and even salt levels in rivers and oceans to know when it's time to get ready. They eat a lot first, fueling up for the long trip, a behavior called hyperphagia. Some actually navigate by the position of the stars at night. Others rely on the Earth's magnetic fields to help guide them. The Great Migration in Eastern Africa involves more than a million wildebeest, zebras, and other grazing animals moving toward water and food during the region's dry season. They, along with the African elephant, American bison, and many other species are at risk from habitat destruction, overhunting, disease, and climate change. Another example is the red knot, an American shorebird that migrates 15,000 kilometers from the southern tip of South America to the Canadian Arctic. The red knot is threatened because its main food source, the horseshoe crab, is being wiped out by the fishing industry that harvests the crabs for bait. Migrations are awesome to see and an inspiring reminder that the world's habitats are interconnected. How can we help make these amazing journeys safer for all animals?